teach your children well. Their father's hell did slowly go by and feed them on your dreams. The one they picked, the one you know by. You know, it's sort of like the family joke now, any Chazon event, like the whole Marvelous crew shows up on mass. I saw it as an opportunity to bring Yiddishkeit through agriculture and to tie the two together and say, here's something you probably never thought about as a Jew. And Sometimes it's hard to take risks. And it's important to know that you don't know what's going to come in the future and seize the moment. It was really made more by our children than by ourselves. They were really, they knew more about this area of agriculture than we did. I didn't know what was wrong with putting pesticides and artificial fertilizers down. We went through a process, like life. You mm -hmm. go through a process. When we came here, when we came to, the, to our first food conference, there were a lot of sessions. And one of the sessions was um, with, a, uh, with a person who was talking about uh, land and pe young people mostly who wanted to go into farming and had no land. And we went into the session and we had 15 acres sitting at potentially our disposal. And, and if we looked at each other and we said, we have a gift. What are we going to do with this gift? It was a blessing. And we didn't know, we didn't know what, literally what we would do with it. And that's when we went back and we said, you know, how do we heal the land? What do we do with it? And so we talked to our people in the farmer's market, people in our green market, farmers local, local, local farmers. We talked to our kids. Um, and the outcome of that was, how do you heal the land? What can you do with it? We, so we said, let's, let's make community plots out of it. So it was a process of who could use the land? How could it be used? And then we said, well, let's start doing some farming. Well, we were abject failures at farming. We hired a young man in the community, we planted some scraggly rows of crops, and very soon we said, what was our passion, which was education, and how do we go into that? And the epiphany was here at Isabella Friedman when we came to Sukkah Fest to, to see our son Elon, who was a Teva educator, and we saw so many young people, 200 young people, who came to engage in the environment through Judaism and they may have been connected to Israel, they may have been connected to Zionism, they may have been connected to Judaism, but they were connected to, you know, Judaism through a very stream of things. And we said, maybe we can do something in the Midwest, you know, in the western suburbs, to, as Fred said, to, to connect people for a little bit of Jewish continuity in a different way. And, and you know, reach you know, reach through that through a different lens. I mean, parents, we have a, a poster in our uh, we have a poster in our home that my father received when he left the rabbi that said, um, "The two gifts you can give your children. There are two gifts you can give your children. One is roots, and the other are wings." Um, and so I really feel that my parents have given us that, and I think we've also, as we've become adults, been able to give back to them. I think what I've learned is that this is another avenue to Jewish identity. And I've seen kids who came out, who came back with their parents and showed their parents what they learned in the farm. They showed them the plants and what they were, and they identified them. They were all excited to be back at the farm. To me, the question, if not now, when means that for Rafaela, that there's a future in Jewish community, in living sustainably, in feeding ourselves healthfully, um, and that we really can be a healthier community moving forward, and that the work that we've done at Isabella Friedman, the work of Adama that influenced me so greatly, um, exists when she grows up. I, I'm still amazed in the factory that we take a roll of paper and turn out a finished envelope, and I'm more amazed that when you plant a seed, you can actually get a pea to grow, or a string bean, or a kale, or whatever it is.